Welcome, brethren. It's Pib. Um, I had a dream. I had a good dream. I had a real good dream last night. Let me tell you. And I hate good dreams, okay? I hate them more than bad dreams because when you have a bad dream, you wake up and you go, oh, thank God. Thank God life isn't that. And then you have a good dream and you wake up and you go, oh, God, life isn't that. You feel me? It's fucked up. And then you're just depressed. You're like, damn, like, this is my reality. This is, this is reality. But you ever have dreams are fucking weird. You ever have dreams where like you're you, like, you never thought about this person in your life. Like you never, this person never crossed your mind. You never were, were attracted to them. And then you have a dream where you like lay some pipe on them. And then all of a sudden you wake up and you're like, you're simping. You're simping for this person. That shit's wild. Like people you never fucking thought, never were attracted to, never crossed your mind. You have a dream about him and now you're, you're a simp. You're cucking for him. You're chubbed up. I had um, like an eighth grade drama teacher who was like 60 something. Like a, just, a, just an old lass and um, never ever thought of her like that had a dream where I uh, beat cheeks and then I wake up and I'm chubbed up I wake up chubbed up never can look at the teacher the same it's fucked up it's really fucked up the subconscious it's a weird thing or you'll have dreams where you like hate somebody and then you're friends with them in the dream and then you're like, maybe I fuck with them. Maybe I fuck with them a little bit. What is that? What is it with dreams and, and that bullshit? Am I right? Who's with me? I swear to God, if I had a nickel, every time I had a dream about someone I'm not attracted to, and now they're on my mind. I got them on my mind. That's not fair. Now I'm sad. And quarantine's not helping. I got to tell you. When quarantine ends, me and my buddy were talking about this. When this shit ends, we're going to be like the new baby boomers. We're going to just animalistically fuck in the streets. Just no holds barred doing WWE moves on each other in the middle of the street. Strangers. It, that's the silver lining of all this. You know, at least there's that. At least there's that. We can look forward to that. I'd be in my feels. Like, quarantine has gotten to a point where I'll just watch, like, a concert of just any any act. And there'll be, like, people in the crowd going nuts, going ham. And I'll just, like, cry. I'll just cry. I'll just cry. And it is what it is. I I yearn for the for the heat of bodies around me. But I digress. I await the sacred day, the the day of reckoning that is to come, where we all come. Am I right?
Election time, baby. The bag of bones did it. The bag of bones did it. The mad lad. And uh, we're dabbing on him. We're dabbing left and right. We're doing Fortnite dances. We're doing ninja dances. We're doing it all. Because I don't know if you remember, but let me put it like this. Hillary wins the popular vote, but loses the electoral. Trumpies are like, get over it, Libtar. Get over it, Snowflake. Biden wins the electoral and the popular, and it's rigged. And it's and it's rigged. What are you going to do? You got to love the Trumpies. You got to love them. They're a different breed, for sure. They're definitely their own breed, and you got to give them that. They're definitely borderline cultists. Let me put it like this, folks. If Trump, the base that he's been riling up all these years, if one day he just snapped and he just wanted to be like, just at the next press conference, just go up to the mic and be like, sick him. If he was just like, sick him. They would be mowing people down through the streets, g- grabbing their AR-15s, just mowing people down like no Russian Modern Warfare 2. And we all know it's true. Let's not kid ourselves. We know what it is. He really has... Uh, I'm not mad at it, you know? He really mobilized a little a little Trump army, a little Trump syndicate. And if he one day was just like, eh, attack, you know, like just gave the signal. He was like, DEFCON 1, mission to go, battle stations. Like his people would, they do it. They would do it. Can we just, am I right? I'm not wrong. I might not be right, but I'm not wrong. Am I right? (sighs) Shit's crazy though, man. So stressful. It's weird because my mom's side is left and my dad's side's like super right. QAnon type bitches. QAnon type beat. And uh, it's just, you know, the, the family group chats are, are wildin' right now, to say the least. Wildin'. Uh, so I'm, I'll be, you know, they're inviting me to Thanksgiving with the, with the dad's side, with the QAnoners, the Trumpers. And uh, I kind of want to wait for things to die down a bit. Things are still a little tense. And uh, if I go there being the lone libtard, I might, I might get got. I might get got at the Thanksgiving. Tensions are high. If I show up talking about seizing the means at the fucking Trump dinner, your boy might not make it to Christmas. So, I don't know if I'm about that. I might need to hold off on the Thanksgiving. And also... Corona's back with a vengeance. Why are we like this? Every other country is is already fucking in the streets. I want to get to the fucking in the streets. But this is the... This is what we're dealing with. This is the incompetence we're dealing with, folks. We got to keep on... Living in our... House and nowhere else, and I don't know. Shit's crazy, man. I gotta be real on with you guys. I got the topics, and I don't remember what the fuck. I'll be blanking hardcore about what I want to talk about when I'm talking to you guys. 
I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the... Once the camera's rolling, I'm just kind of... I'm rolling. I'm just kind of... I'm riding the wave. I'm in the mo- I'm in the, the movement. <laughs> the moment. And uh, I don't remember what I want to say. So fucking forgive me. Suck off. Love you, though. We got some CBD in us. We're relaxed. We're doing good. And I hope you're doing good. Uh, fucking Thanksgiving got canceled, which is really annoying. I'm supposed to have Christmas or Thanksgiving. And then uh, they're like, hey, Thanksgiving, yeah, no, because COVID. And I'm sad. There's a few times I get to have like an actual meal that isn't like just me microwaving some some chemical like radiating horse shit from the dollar store. Because we're not rich yet, people. What do you want from me? But Christmas, uh, hopefully Christmas will come around, I hope. Uh, Christmas is always really annoying because my family always asks me what I want for Christmas. And then I tell them what I want for Christmas and they never want to give me that. They're like, it's too obvious. I need, you know, I need to give him something he doesn't expect. And then they get me something I don't want. And then they get mad when I'm like, this is what you got me. This is the best you could do. And then they get mad when I ask for money. Like, here's why this is annoying. Okay. Let me give my case. My sister goes, oh, I just, I, I want, you know, money's lame or like the the gifts you want are lame. I want you to be surprised. I want you to open up a gift and be like, oh, like this is what you got me. I don't want to just be like money or like, you know, a tattoo or I want it to be something you can open. And that is selfish. Okay. You want to buy a gift for me. You want to buy what you want to buy me. And it's the thing is, is I'm not going to go, whoa, I'm not going to like auga, like, no. But if the thing is, is if you got me the money, I would be like, oh, thanks. But you don't want that. You don't want me to to want the gift. You want to get me some like you want to be a fucking contrarian. You want to get like the offbeat gift that I didn't expect. But the thing is, is I didn't ask for that. What is with my family? They ask me what I want. I tell them what I want. And they say, oh, that's lame. Why do you want that? And then they get me something I don't want. It's because they get me a gift for them. They want me to open what they want me to get so they can be satisfied. It's a, that ain't the Christmas spirit. Okay. Okay. The, is that what Santa would have wanted? Santa gives me cash. This is for all my people out here who ask for money for Christmas. I hear you. You're heard. This is where this is where you're safe. This is your home. Because bitches be like, oh, that's why you just want money that's lame. But that's what I want. Don't you want to make me happy? Isn't it about giving? That's what I want. I'm not fucking rolling in it. I'm not pulling up in the fucking swerving up in the Bugatti. I want money. Give me money. Because then I'll open up the envelope. Whoa, thanks. It's just what I wanted. But instead they want to try to be cute. They want to be cute with the Christmas gifts. Stop being cute with the Christmas gifts. Give me what I asked for. You just want me to open a box. You want to be able to put a box under the tree. Selfish. I'm not having it. Not in my Christmas. God bless you. But I hope you're all doing well out there. I hope you're doing well. The coming months, hopefully we survive it. It's going to be bad. Corona's coming. It's leveling up. It's getting stronger. It's evolving. And 
and I hope you're staying safe. Stay diligent. Stay cute. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.